Wedding is just a celebration after marriage. The real marriage has happened before wedding. Because the real marriage is parents giving their children to one another. That's marriage. It's cultural. So all that wedding is unnecessary. It's, un it's not in the Bible. No wedding in the Bible. White wedding is a white man's culture. It's not in the Bible. It's not a Bible thing. In the Bible, marriage is parents handing over their children. When requirements of the families are met, once that happens, marriage has happened. And of course, because you're a responsible Christian, you now call your pastor to speak a blessing. Basic. You don't need to feed people. You don't need to wear gown. You can wear house cloth and come and get married. I'm not joking. I'm very serious. You don't need to gather people. You can do your wedding. Call your friends. 10-10 cook for them they eat you rejoice and that's it sunday you come and give testimony we got married within the week papa was there to bless us and if papa was not there pastor praise was there all my district pastor was sent by the church they blessed us it was a wonderful wedding we were just 15 in number praise god because of social distancing so we couldn't take more than 15. You're a young man that wants to start life and you want to spend two million for wedding you don't have sense the school fees your father paid in school was wasted you need to go back to the village and refund the fees you don't have money to start life then you are spending two million in wedding two million can set up a good business for you if you have sense and that's why people get married and for one year they are still paying debt so their marriage started with bitterness and anger everybody is angry because when there is debt to pay and no money to eat there will be tension in the house that love will suddenly finish who send you and most times it's the sisters i want to wear ready me too i want to dance i want to dance if i don't dance i will never be normal i will never be normal i must dance all my friends are waiting they are all waiting for me i must put my picture on facebook facebook must see my picture uh, if i don't put my picture on facebook i can never be normal who knows you on facebook facebook is for faceless people people you don't even know you want to impress them and you want to make your young man to be broke to impress facebook you know if for facebook you don't need wedding no you don't need to borrow a gown call a photographer you don't know you can enter uh Eret housing and look for one corner and snap and put new york last week in new york who will confirm it how will they confirm it no it's a question how will they confirm it are there no green trees in new york is there no sand in New York? Uh -uh. Cannot look for somewhere in Lagos. Snap different places. Put New York, Japan, China. And then somebody will see it and die of jealousy. For picture you snap in Lagos. Just because you put New York, Japan and China. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. Am I making your life easy? My yoke is easy. My yoke is easy. My brother, sister, let the brother marry you like that. You people should just gather inside my office. I bless you. Then give him time two years, four years, five years. When he has balanced financially and he has made money, you can call the whole of Nigeria from president down to come and join. Do your marriage, Annie. Don't eat your future today in a bit to impress people because people can never be impressed. So if you borrow for wedding, is it for the work of God? If you borrow to bury the dead, bury oh bury all of us in the family are to give to two hundred thousand. I don't, have, but I want to just go and borrow. I can be paying small, small for one year. You borrow to bury the dead, yet you cannot borrow to give to the work of God. The work of God is much more a righteous cause, much more than burying the dead. The dead man is gone. He doesn't know you buried him in that fashion. He's not aware. You're the only one that is aware. 